guys just finished back yep that's it all within an hour um, just a quick recap started off doing some pull downs with a power grip that was with a different bar that uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen but may not have used uh, what we're trying to do there is making sure that we're not using any momentum on our positive and also the negative resistance um, I see a lot of people they'll pull and then be pulling way over here and then hunching forward and pulling back. We want it to be nice and erect right here and not swinging at all. So right after that, I picked a different uh, handle, exchange handle. Uh, don't really know the, the name of it. Normally uh, I use a triangle. Uh, this one was quite different. Um, the bars were about within my shoulders and it just had these nice handles right here. So another power grip exercise where I was able to arch my back, keep my chest up, chin up, and pull right in. And then as I was doing, if you guys noticed, I was doing what? I was getting a good squeeze. So the technique was there, the, tech, the technique was there, the tempo, but the time under tension was extremely key on that exercise. Um, you start to notice if you're swinging or if you're rolling your shoulders too far forward on these type of exercises, you're not feeling it in your lats, no matter if you're pulling with your elbows or not. When you're doing pull downs, keep your chest up, chin up, and then as you're squeezing down, pulling your elbows, now you feel it more. But when you round out your shoulders, it's not as much. So always keep that in mind. Right after that, we started to do a, what I call a 45 or 60 degree uh, cable pull. This is definitely uh, something different, but it's definitely something that I would give a try. Uh, you can use pretty much any attachment for this. I would say not to go too wide on this one. Uh, try to keep maybe a triangle or something within shoulder, uh, within the shoulders. I used another power grip uh, apparatus, so uh, attachment, if you will. And what I was trying to do there is making sure I'm getting a good stretch forward and then pulling back here. So it's okay to move forward and roll your shoulders forward, but then when you're pulling, pulling with your elbows and then keeping that all this up and then pulling back with your elbows. So we're, we did those, came over, did some dumbbell rows. Now these dumbbell rows are quite different. Um, a lot of people do them uh, with their palms facing their body. Uh, I would say more like here, like pulling a lawnmower. What I was doing is same thing, but more I would call an open hand. So I had the dumbbell, almost as if I was doing a barbell row, but just with one dumbbell. It was quite challenging, I must say. It definitely requires a lot of uh, bicep strength. So for those people that wanna do biceps after this workout, your biceps are already ready to rock and roll. There's almost no need to do a warm up. Um, same rules apply on this one. Core tight, chest up, and then making sure you drop that shoulder, getting a good stretch, and then pulling up and in. The only issue I have with this particular movement is the, the, the dumbbell actually being wide instead of narrow right here. When it's narrow, it's a, it's a little bit easier, but it's a lot more challenging when the weight isn't away from you. Actually, let's be honest, it's gonna hit your leg. It's gonna graze that leg. So you really wanna be careful that you're not banging it against your leg, but that's gonna require a lot of level of focus. So this is somewhat of a little bit more intermediate to advanced uh, movement that I would say those people that have tried dumbbell rows, give this one a try, I guarantee you. Um, the same weight you're using will be a little bit more challenging. Uh, right after that, we came over to do some barbell rows. Now, normally 
people would say, why are you doing this last? Well, in my way of thinking, I need to be able to finish strong. And that's not doing some isolation movement where I can do a bunch of reps. I wanted to do something that was more of a compound movement that required a lot of level of focus, but a lot of level, level of brute strength. By me being able to do this exercise at the very end, seeing what weight I could pull, that enabled me to think, wow, if I was doing that at the, at the very beginning of the workout, I could probably do even more weight. So sometimes it's good guys to change things up and just to see how far you can push yourself. So I encourage a lot of you guys to give this workout a try and uh, let me know, let me know how you like it. You should be feeling a really good pump within your lats, not just up top, but that sweep that comes all the way down. Okay, so this is a definitely a good mass builder um, for a lot of people that haven't done back before, welcome. You're gonna be pulling a lot with those elbows, whether it be up here or out and across. And also make sure you stay hydrated throughout this entire workout because you're working a very large muscle group. And I know a lot of you guys and girls take a lot of different products and whatnot. In order for those products to work and keep you hydrated, H2O is your key bet. So with all that said, thank you for watching Phil Heath TV.